welcome to DC Today. Um, it's a uh, day after uh, 4th of July, uh, July the 5th on Wednesday. And I hope everyone had a great Independence Day with fa uh, family and friends and got to celebrate the uh, 247th year of this great country. Um, so today was, was, as expected, following the holiday, it was a little, little quiet in markets. Uh, volume was low. We were down something like uh, about 129 points um, on the day on the Dow. Um, and the big news on the day was, uh, was the Fed minutes that were released and I'll sort of go through that a little bit, but, um, interest rates were a little higher on the day. Um, the 10 year is sort of inching its way towards that 4% figure. Um, we'll see if it, if it gets there. Uh, we're at something like uh, 393 as of today. So we're up seven basis points on the day. Uh, two year yields were higher too. And again, mostly because of the, the Fed minutes that were released. So the, so the meeting they had um, a week and a half ago, uh, or, or yeah, but a week and a half ago, um, released the minutes, you know, they obviously didn't raise rates. They, they, they paused. Um, the minutes showed that while the, the vote was unanimous, meaning that everybody voted to go ahead and not do anything in the last meeting, the, the debate back and forth was definitely with several of, of the constituents talking about, or Fed presidents talking about potentially raising 25 basis points. So, um, I do think the Fed is is basically risking the potential recession um, or a potential recession at this point more than it is, um, you know, wanting to risk what happened in the 70s, which is they sort of declared victory on inflation and then had to kind of reinvigorate a, a rate tightening campaign after they had stopped officially. So I don't think they want to do that. Um, the. Um, the uh, uh, the next meeting is is the 25th and 26th of July, so that's a, a good amount of time from now. Call it three weeks or more. Um, there's a couple of data points that'll come out um, this week. Actually, we've got some employment data. We'll get the ADP payroll number tomorrow, and then jobless claims and, and some more data on Friday. Um, so that'll be something that can change direction on on Fed policy in that next meeting. But it'll end up being somewhat stale just because it's going to be a, a pretty far away away from, from when they're actually going to meet. There is some um, uh, inflation data that'll come out that is out on the 12th, so a week from today. That I think will be a little bit more relevant just because it'll be a little bit fresh, more fresh uh, or closer to the date of when they're going to meet. And so we'll see where, where prices are going to you know, ultimately be. Um, we got some factory orders and some durable, durable goods orders out today that were below expectations, although they were basically the same exact number as they were last month, so so sort of more of the same. Um, there were some bright spots in there. Aircraft was bright, machinery, um, uh, transportation, those types of things. And, and I, I think some of that has to do with um, some of the manufacturing uh, data that we're getting out of so, sort of the uh, onshoring or reshoring phenomenon that's happening as we pull supply chains from from places like China. Um, but um, but it is showing a slowdown. So so you know manufacturing is a little it's below fifty, and so we're, we've got a little contraction there, and uh, the factory orders were uh, were a little bit below expectation. Um, speaking of nearshoring or onshoring, um, the president of China, Xi Jinping, had comments today about how countries should cooperate and basically talking um, speaking to that. You know that that um, they're starting to feel and notice in their economy certainly is that, that those manufacturing jobs that were once all in China or mostly in China are now starting to relocate either, um, you know, towards the U S and Mexico, different parts of the world, um, uh, because of what kind of went through in the pandemic with supply chain issues and, and so on and so forth. Um, we had uh, a commitment to reduce production, uh, from both Russia and Saudi. So two bit real big OPEC players, um, saying they're going to reduce production. Oil was up about 3%, 3.18% on the day because of that. Um, and um, uh, so we had some news there. Um, technically registered one of the warmest days or the hottest day, I guess, um, on record, which really just goes back to 1979 when they've been tracking this. But um, so we've got some, some rising global temperatures. I think in the DC today, I wrote that 1979 is a long period of time in our life, in my life. That's, you know, I was two, so it's a long time ago, but, but it's, um, in the scheme of tracking temperatures on the earth, I don't know that that's a real long sample set. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I'm just putting it in perspective. It, it's trying to, you know, track a direction of a portfolio uh, result over a, a short period of time is about as use, useful as well. Um, 
so the um, other kind of news on the day, the Supreme Court on, uh, um, I think this was on uh, Saturday or, sorry, Monday, um, on Monday, um, ruled against using race race for college admissions. This was part of a mer- affirmative action, if you remember that, been around for a long, long time. Um, they also um, uh, uh, voted to... Um, uh, to, or to not to not support um, Biden's plan to um, cancel or offset student debt uh, for something like you know 20 30 million Americans um, they just thought that was exceeding his power to be able to do something like that um, and I'll save my uh, partisan comments for uh, what I think of those two things aside which is that I'm in favor um, but uh, all that to say the um, uh, the day was quiet it was low volume um, um, there, there was some news. UPS was down a little bit on the day. The stock, the company was down a little bit. There's a, a back and forth that they're dealing with with their unions and their drivers, and they didn't come to an agreement. So you saw some, some volatility there. But um, all that to say, I'll, I'll let you get back to your afternoon. Um, I wanted to give you this brief update here uh, on kind of a quiet trading day. Again, markets were slightly lower. Um, but uh, all to say, things are, are going just fine, and uh, we're moving ahead with positive earnings on the year and into next year. So Um, But I'll let you go on the day. I appreciate it very much. And I'll see you next time on DC Today. Thank you. Mm